Question 81. Headaches, nausea, and pain would be called A. Assessment, B. Observations, C. Symptoms, D. Charting. Answer C. Explanation. Symptoms are the client's experience about how they feel. Pain, nausea, and anxiety are things that only the client can perceive and report. They may contribute to the signs that others can see, such as a higher heart rate, change of skin color, or unusual behavior. But the symptoms begin with the client. Question 82. The loss of the ability to express oneself is... A. Aphasia B. Empathy C. Verbal communication D. Speech therapy Answer A. Explanation When a client has suffered a stroke or other head injury, the speech center of the brain can be damaged, resulting in aphasia. Main signs of aphasia include difficulty finding appropriate words when speaking, trouble understanding speech, and difficulty with reading and writing. Question 83. The nurse aide knows to wear which of the following to perform rest and care. A. Non-skid shoes. B. A name tag. C. Comfortable, clean uniforms. D. All of the above. Answer D. Explanation. The nurse aide is considered to be a healthcare professional and should dress accordingly. Each facility has a dress code policy regarding the type of uniform to wear. Clothing must be clean and free from stains, tears or wrinkles. Shoes must be closed toe with non-skid soles. Appropriate grooming is always necessary. Jewelry is usually limited to a watch and wedding ring to avoid injuring a client while giving care. A name tag is part of the standard uniform. Question 84. The most important way to the nurse aide to gather information about the safety and well-being of the resident is A. Observation B. Listen to the nurses talk in the med room C. Listen to other nurse aides at break D. Flow sheets Answer A. Explanation. As the primary staff member who provides hands-on care for the resident, the nurse aide is able to observe the resident's current condition with accuracy. Flow sheets provide information about the resident over time, but the nurse aide is able to assess the situation in real time. Question 85. Type 2 diabetes is A. Common B. Often associated with obesity and secondary. C. Count controllable. D. Of the above. Answer D. Explanation. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes, usually occurring in the Downs while obese and inactive. It is a chronic disease that requires ongoing medical management. Where there is no cure, it can be controlled with lifestyle changes with diet and exercise. Medications can also be helpful in keeping blood sugar levels at optimal levels. Question 86. Constipation and indigestion can result from a. Slowed peristalsis B. Slowed mental response C. Slowed brain waves D. Slowed respirations Answer A. Explanation About 75% of elderly people have slowed peristalsis, the way that food moves through the intestines, because there are fewer nerves to control the gut. As a result, food does not move in an even pattern. This can cause constipation and indigestion. Any pathogens in the digestive tract have a chance to multiply, so elderly people may be more likely to develop enteric infections. Question 87. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place A. Around the kidneys B. In the lungs C. In the intestines D. In the heart Answer B. Explanation 
The lungs are the main organs of the respiratory system. They take in oxygen during inhalation and release carbon dioxide during exhalation. The gases are extracted in the tiny air sacs of the lungs called alveoli. Question 88. Who supervises the work of a nurse aide? A. The office manager. B. The resident's family. C. The social worker. D. The nurse. Answer D. Explanation. The work of a nurse aide is overseen by a registered nurse or a licensed practical or vocational nurse. The scope of practice for an RN or LPN, LVN includes responsibility of staff who provide the daily hands-on care for clients. Open communication between the nurse aide and supervisor makes for excellent client care. Question 89. Diabetes mellitus make a resident more prone to develop A. Chills B. Fever C. Cancer D. Infections Answer D. Explanation Diabetics have high blood sugar levels which can decrease the immune system which finds infections. Urinary tract and skin are the most common places for infections in diabetics. Because diabetics often have nerve damage, they can develop food infections without knowing. Question 90. A bad sore or decubitus user is caused by A. Burns B. Fatigue C. Abrasions D. Inadequate turning Answer D. Explanation One of the primary responsibilities of a nurse aide is to monitor the client's skin for any signs of breakdown that could develop into bad sores also called decubitus users or pressure sores. During baths, dressing or position changes, inspect the skin for redness, pallor, warmth or bruising. Reposition at least every two hours, protecting areas that rub together as well as the bony prominences. Massages to the back and buttocks can promote circulation. Range of motion exercises are also helpful. Always report any signs of breakdown to the nurse. Thank you for watching.